Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Did you know that when you ask someone for sources and they say they don't have the sources, that asking someone for sources for data that they post is being a hater and a grouch and a bully? I didn't know that until Mindy. Mindy is in Monate. She's been in Monate for six years, and my guess is she might be kind of high up in Monate. She also has over 100 thousand followers on Instagram. So in my opinion, she has a lot of responsibility in telling the truth. But come to find out, Mindy doesn't care about the truth or her followers in my opinion. This video is my experience with Mindy and from my perspective about how she lied to her 100,000 followers and doesn't care that she did so. And actually got mad when someone with only 4,000 on Instagram like myself commented and asked her why. So buckle up, this is kind of a wild ride, I must say. Mindy is a prime example of who not to be. A liar on the internet that has a responsibility and acts like someone who tells the truth. So let's get started. Before we do really quick, I want to let you know that in clinical, I have like a duo, my Celsius sticks that I use in place of Fizz sticks. If you haven't ever been in Arbonne, I was an MLM, I was an Arbonne, whatever. I use Fizz sticks. I use Celsius sticks now, but I also use Liquid IV. I actually used Liquid IV before I even became an affiliate and I'm an affiliate with them now. So if you use Liquid IV, you want a discount code, or if you want to try Liquid IV, you can use my discount code and it is in my bio. You can actually just click the link in my bio or you can go to the website and put in walk in on Lexapro. That's my Instagram name. Thank you. That's enough of that. Like the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. Let's talk about another MLM top leader doing what MLM top leaders do. So to get started, I actually saw this. I'm not really sure how. It could have been when I did my last video over No Shame Sales Game and she was in No Shame Sales Game stories. So I clicked on it. You can see she has over 100,000 followers. This is her Instagram. Uh, she says she's a licensed stylist and makeup artist. You can see Elise Myers follows her. So what's interesting is one, lying in general, as she's about to do with no sources and it's easy to like say that it's a lie, uh, is shocking, but not really when it comes to top leader, but also lying to someone like Elise Myers. Babe, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't do that. Let's get started. This was her post. It says Google $1 billion in five years, Facebook $1 billion in six years, Spotify $1 billion in eight, Apple $1 billion in 14 years, Netflix $1 billion in 19 years, Money $3 billion in eight and a half years. She started off with the saying, social selling is the future and money is lighting the path. And I'll read the rest later, but from what she said that first sentence and what she put, I simply asked, hi, what are the sources for this data? So I'm going to continue to read what she said, but my question is based off of social selling is the future and money is lighting the path, including these numbers. Where is the data for it? How is social selling the future? I want to see your sources. And I asked it pretty nicely, I must say. But she continues in her Instagram post. Maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't paid attention yet, but it's time. I've been doing this for almost six years. And my only regret is not starting sooner. Here are my top five things you need to consider when looking at a business partner, business to partner with. One, consumable product. Are the products something the consumer will repurchase over and over or is it one and done? Number two, compensation plan. Every cop plan is different, blah, 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 blah. I've done one video about their compensation plan. It really is not very good at all. Number three, products. She says, I'm a firm believer you have to actually use and love the products you promote. Number four is global expansion. If the company isn't growing, it's dying. Fun fact, money is currently available in nine countries and launching another new country this year with profit shares available in each country. Here's the issue with that money is actually not growing. While it might be opening it up in other countries, overall, its growth has actually declined. I have a data sheet that I can put up to show you that money actually showed at their, I think, 2021 conference and it didn't get better for 2022. And you want to know why we don't have it? Because none of them posted it because it was not good. Number five is leadership slash experience. Does the company's leaders know how to run a successful business? How much debt does the company have? Do they invest into your training and actually listen to feedback? I'm currently interviewing to see 
who could be a good fit. If it's a match, I will get you plugged into our training system to help you go at whatever piece you choose. Mindy, I know you're not interviewing. <laughs> I know you're not interviewing for your MLM. I cannot handle that. I believe that anyone in an MLM would hire literally anyone. Literally anyone. They even sometimes put their dog's name in uh, for an account. So there's that. She said, DM me or comment interview to see if this is for you. 2023 is the year you jump on the train that isn't slowing down. The issue is with the data that we have, it has slowed down, but that's beside the point. Then she puts the income disclosure statement below. We'll talk about that in a second. So like I said, with this post, I commented, hi, what are the sources for this data? She simply said, Monate CEO announced it at a recent retreat. As far as I know, it hasn't been officially published. Obviously, there's an issue with that. So I said, so they didn't give you sources either. If it's not published yet, you cannot use it as fact. She said, Julie Joe, I understand this isn't for everyone. I feel fine about my post on my page. If you don't continue scrolling, thank you. I said, what's not for everyone? Sharing statistics, acting like it's facts when it's not? That is never okay. You are lying to your 100,000 plus people acting like it's true. You have a lot of responsibility as a creator. And some people look up to you. You're being irresponsible. And then, of course, she blocked me. Like every hun does, she blocked me because I pushed back on the fact that she was lying to her large following. People don't like being called out for lying, especially when it's true. <laughs> so uh, apparently she experienced a lot of cognitive dissonance and it ruined her day because she had quite a bit to say in her stories about it. Let's take a look. This is a reel that she made and she titled it in honor of National Do a Grouch a Favor Day. Darling, the comment section is not the customer service hotline. If you have a problem with my content that you do not pay for on my page that I did not ask you to follow, well. That's the end of it, pretty much. Uh, if you don't want people commenting, then turn your comments off, Mindy. That's a starter. Number two, uh, I'm actually not grouchy, but it seems that you are, especially with the stories coming up, y'all. It really does get worse. So Mindy did not like what I had to say. She obviously is upset that I called her out, which we already spoke about. And here is what she said in the uh, caption. Seriously, though, I love having those who want to be here. But for those who don't, kisses and toodles, no exit interview required. It's funny that you try to use the interview option again. You don't interview for Monate. It's not a real job like that. That's embarrassing. Stop using that word. To be honest, I was never um, there in the first place. Like I never followed her. I'd never seen her before really. So this was like my first hey, what is this? This is no bueno. Like this, this could really get you in trouble. And are you okay with lying to your over 100,000 followers, including Elise Myers? Apparently she's okay with that. Continuing, she made um, stories and this isn't continuing with her, uh, I don't know, breakdown or her uh, having cognitive dissonance you can tell especially with what she's saying this is just one group of stories that she made there's a whole nother one that is even more in-depth and upset towards me she said let's talk about those last two slides for just a minute those last two slides for just a minute social selling has literally been around <laughs> since the beginning of time like eve social sold adam on the apple first off what <laughs> Mindy, you have earned the Shut Your Mouth Award. Because you need to shut your mouth. This is... <laughs> she said, Eve social sold, social sold Adam on the apple. Can you imagine the mental gymnastics she had to do to <laughs> make that a thing? I don't mean to like lose my mind laughing, but it really is so funny when you think about it. Let's not forget, by social selling, she also means multi-level marketing. Babe, there was no multi-levels with that Apple story. I can't. I can't. Let's keep going. It's been around forever. You social sell every day, whether you realize it or not. If you have ever planned a vacation, a trip, if you have ever tried to, like, build a house or, in our case, put in a yard, you have been social selling everybody that has come along with the process the whole time, I social sell my kids every day on what we're having for dinner, <laughs> on what time I think we should go to bed. <laughs> it, 
it's something we all do. I, I feel like there's not much to say about that section. I mean, I'm sure plenty of you have stuff to say. I, I've just got to get through this one. I just got to get through this story. It, it's, <laughs> it is a very cringy story. And she obviously lacks education in what social selling or multi-level marketing or monate in general is because people like to use the word social selling as though it is what they are doing as though it is what monate is and what they do it's actually multi-level marketing that is fact straight up what she does multi-level marketing we just aren't even really fully aware of it and don't get paid for it direct sales have also been around for a long time. I don't know how long. I didn't look any of this up. This isn't like a planned TED talk, but I remember Tupperware and Mary Kay and even like pampered chef and purses and rings, all the things. Maybe you've always been a fan of MLMs, direct sales. I wasn't at all. Growing up, didn't like them. College, didn't like them. First 10 years of marriage, did not like them. I kind of live. I believe that that's another lie. It's my opinion, but I believe that she's lying again, acting as though that she didn't like them until she tried them. I feel like a lot of people in MLMs, especially top leaders, like to use this narrative that, oh, I didn't like them, or even, oh, I was anti-MLM, oh, I hated MLMs, oh, I thought they were just ridiculous, I thought people who did them were just, like, dens and had no idea what they were doing. I was wrong. Like, Brooke Banks, Brookie Banks, B Banks, do y'all remember her? We've got to talk about her soon because there's some wild stuff going on with that. Anyway, that's the narrative they like to push because they want people who think, oh, maybe it is just me thinking ridiculous things. I haven't tried it. Well, you don't, you don't need to, to try heroin to know it's bad for you. Okay. All right. I live in the MLM capital of the world, Utah. <laughs> and so I had been approached so many times and there is a icky and genuine way to do direct sales. But whether you're doing direct sales or social selling or affiliate marketing, because I don't know about you, but if I see someone on social media talking about something and I'm like, that's the best, I wanna order it, I also want a link. That is a false equivalency. Honestly, direct selling, social selling, affiliate marketing, none of those are necessarily multi-level marketing. They like to use those as general statements that this is what we are, but they actually 100% aren't affiliate marketing in no way, shape or form. Affiliate marketing is its own thing. I affiliate market, I have an affiliate code and I am not multi-level marketing. Affiliate marketing is simply me having a link so that you can get a discount. You using the link because you enjoy my videos, you like me or whatever, and you want to try this product or you like this product and you just are getting a discount on it. And you're also supporting me in the process. It's very simple. There is no recruiting. There is no any type of anything weird like it's very simply that it is not what she does i want a discount code if i'm gonna order it like where's the perk right and there are people that do all of them but it is all in the same realm and it is the direction the world is going social media isn't going anywhere no one's doing ads and billboards there's not phone books like we skip that stuff word of mouth and this whole thing is the future so basically you have, you have a couple options. You can continue to watch other people do it and say, that's not for me. I don't want to do it and not get paid for all the social selling you're already doing. Or you can try it. I highly suggest reading my post about the five things you want to look for in a company. But if you want to know how those five things apply to my mate, hold on a second. I got to go back and read them talking about how you can try it you can make money off of what you're social selling however when we get someone it's income disclosure statement we see that the majority of them over 90 percent likely are not even profiting they're likely losing money we'll get there don't worry okay so that was the original like post that you saw okay consumable compensation products global expansion leadership i mentioned a couple in there but consumable is the product consumable? I can only have so much of something that doesn't go away. I love my purses. I love my jewelry. I love my clothes. I love my, my cooking stuff. Once I get it, I don't need any more. Product that people use and love and that goes down the drain and they need more is consumable and amazing. Compensation. I talk about that. Yet yeah, money it's made three billion they pay out 50 cents on the dollar. That means the market partners like me have gotten 1.5 billion in commission. Whoa, 
I guess I gotta pull out the income disclosure statement early because she is lying to you without actually lying to you. Let me let me explain that. She's saying we got paid $1.5 billion in commission and her insinuation is a lot of people are getting money. When in reality, most people aren't making money. She's saying in eight years, we got paid out $1.5 billion. So not even the three billion that she initiated in eight and a half years. She's saying in eight years, we got $1.5 billion as market partners. Let's talk about it. All right, I just, I can't wait any longer. We've really got to cover this income disclosure statement because she will never. Monet's income disclosure statement, this is her 2021 and it's based annually. So you make this a year. Market partners, the bottom rank, 93.3% of people in this bottom rank make a median annual gross earning of $21. I would like to explain median is most accurate over average. Median of $21 a year. Their shampoo's not even $21. It's more expensive than that. So I know for a fact that the majority of people in Monet well over 90% of them, likely are actually losing money. Losing money. And you can look, you can, if you want, I'll, I'll try to remember to put the link down below so that you can go read through it. But nothing else, no other, I think they have like 10 or something, no other rank is above 3.2% of amount of people there. The, the second level is 3.26%. The third level is 3.52% of people. And then it goes to under 1% of people. And the, to be fair, the second level managing market partner, an MMP, only makes $1,600 a year. The median is $1,600 a year. That is, that's a year. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible business opportunity. But she's insinuating that it is a great, amazing, awesome, wonderful, spectacular business opportunity that you're going to earn money from. No, you are not. It is very, very rare that you're actually profiting and it is almost 0% chance that you will ever profit what she's profited. In the eight years, that is unheard of. Trust me, all my other affiliate links do not pay out 50 cents on the dollar. I'm lucky if I get 10, 15%. I profited in one month from Liquid IV, profited, profited, I didn't buy product. I have product from before, but they sent me free product. I profited from Liquid IV, more than triple what 93% of people in Mon 8 made annually. So no, that is another false equivalency. There is no way you can equate those two things. Of every cell. And that's as an affiliate for the ones that actually pay me. A lot of the time when I give you guys a code, a discount code, I've just asked the people that I got the product from, hey, can I get a code for my followers? I don't get a kickback. Sometimes they get the product sent to me for free. But that's it. Products. I highly, highly believe that you shouldn't be talking about and selling something that you wouldn't actually buy and use yourself. We see it. Absolutely fair. I completely agree with her on that one. I would not be talking about products that I haven't used or my husband hasn't used and that we don't continue to use. All the time. It's huge with celebrities. Don't even get me started on which ones actually use Tide and Febreze because that's total BS. You should use and love the product because then when you talk about it, it really is something you share anyway. Global expansion. I talk about it in the post, but they should be growing. You want to be with a company that is growing and expanding. Monet is. We're growing. It might be expanding, but we know from data they gave us in 2021, there's no growth. The reason they're not showing us the data in 2022 is because there's also no growth pretty straightforward actually gonna be in the Asia Pacific in the next four within the next four years and finally crap what was the last one hold on leadership and experience <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very honest with you guys for a second I try to be very honest all the time but I just feel like I need to make this point even stronger than my other points I cannot stand watching someone laugh and giggle like that when they've lied They've intentionally lied to their over 100,000 followers, including Elise Myers. Why are you lying to Elise Myers? Why are you lying to anyone? Let's be real. But like, what do you think, Mindy, allows you to lie to people and not get called out for it? Why are you special? You're not. And that is why I'm here to call you out for the lies that you're spreading to the many people who look up to you. You should be ashamed of yourself for that. Sorry, I know that was a little personal. 
uh, it really isn't personal to me. It seems personal, but I don't like watching anyone lie to the consumers that make them money. That's why I do this. <laughs> my need is, I mean, it started out no debt. So when a company starts with no debt, they are able to pay out more. And when you cut out the middleman from like all the distribution things, they're giving you the great compensation anyway. They give us training. Your website's included. You, they shampoo, dealer, certified. They have, they're bringing in personal development things all the time. The speakers that we have come to our annual conferences will blow your mind. We've got John Maxwell. We've had Mel Robbins, Kendra Scott, Ed Milette, Tony Robbins, like so big. And in our team specifically, we have an app that we plug you right into so you do not have to know anything about shampoo. You don't have to have a following. You don't have to know anything about direct sales. I plug you right in and I help you along the way at whatever pace you want to go. So, uh, Mindy, no, you do not have the ability to form your own pace. It depends on certain things. Did you get into the company early? Uh, do you have a large influence already? Uh, I don't know. Is someone stacking underneath you? It, it depends on your luck, honestly. It's true. You don't get to like go at your own pace at this necessarily. Like if you wanted to rank up high quickly, you don't really have that choice. I know that sounds wild and you're like, wait, what? But, but it's true. You can want it and you can work hard as hard as you should to rank up. That doesn't mean it's actually going to happen. Usually you don't even rank up. That's why 93% of people are at the bottom. But to bring it all home for you, what I'm saying is I would love for you to come do this thing with Monate with me. I've been doing it almost six years. Freaking fantastic company. I'm obsessed with the products. We all know that. I talk about it all the time. But if Monate and shampoo is not your thing or you don't want to work with me, then please, please go find a company that is. Go find a company that fits you and get paid for doing this because affiliate marketing is the way. And if you're going to do it, Mindy, this is not affiliate marketing. And you said you are an affiliate with other companies that are not MLMs. Mindy, you know, you're lying to your people. You know, a hundred percent that what you're saying is a lie. They like to make it look like it's not by saying marketing, marketing, mar it's affiliate marketing, it's social selling. It's this. No, use the name that it is supposed to be. Affiliate marketing is not multi-level marketing. Those are not the same thing. I am honestly so disgusted and uh, I've covered plenty of people, but someone who acts so giggly and kind and loving and just acts like she cares about all these people that follow her and yet she is choosing to lie to them for income. I have a problem with that and I hope that you do too. Or if you are already doing affiliate marketing, please, please, please go check out No Shame Sales Game. Colleen teaches you how to take the ick out how to be on the internet like a real human and make this thing genuine and real because the business model is fantastic when it is done right. I love that. That makes it even better. Actually, I think this is how I found her is because No Shame Sells Game reposts this on her story. It's so funny because my most recent video, like the one I just did before this one, is about No Shame Sells Game and how she's the absolute worst. You're going to love it. If you haven't seen it, I recommend. I highly recommend. Now, this next video is the one where she's actually talking specifically kind of about me. She didn't say my name, but she's specifically talking about me and she's pretty upset. It seems that my uh, question about why she's not citing sources and then the fact that, it's, that she's okay with lying to people that are following her uh, really upset her. I personally think she might be experiencing cognitive dissonance and that's why she's so frustrated, but let's watch. Do you ever have days <laughs> moments, weeks, where you just can't people anymore. It's too people-y, whether in real life or on social media. I'm having that. I'm having that right now. And I know it doesn't help that it's deload week. So I shouldn't even be on the internet. Girl, then get off. Less time with you on the, on the internet means people getting less misinformation. Okay. If you want to know what Deload Week is, check out my friend Amanda. She has taught me all about it and is brilliant. Last night I was privy to a anti-MLM account finding me and deciding that I was its latest latch on. <laughs> that the comment, my comment section was its customer service hotline and that... Uh, 
I actually couldn't care less about you, to be frank. I really don't care about you whatsoever. I care that you're misinforming your entire following. Not only that, you were just straight up lying to them. I was just asking where the source was. It's you that said, if you don't like it, get off my page. If I don't like that you're lying to your people, I need to get off your page. What if you just stopped lying? Then I wouldn't even have to comment. It's pretty simple, right? I feel like it's not that difficult. I owed her something for being a person on the internet. No, I don't think you owe me anything. However, I do think you owe your 100,000 followers something and that something is not lying. Yeah, again, I believe she lied, you might not, but you can make a decision for yourself in my comments if she lied or not. Um, we went back and forth a few times. I tried to keep it really, really polite and she did not. And so I ended up lying. Oh, Mindy, I didn't keep it polite. Okay, babe, let's, let's double, let's double check. Let's, don't worry, I have the, I have the receipts. Apparently, uh, I didn't keep it polite. I said, hi, what are the sources for this data? Worst comment. Uh, and then she said, Monet's CEO announced it at a recent retreat. As far as I know, it hasn't been officially published yet. Okay. Uh, I said, so they didn't give you sources either? If it's not published yet, you can't use it as fact. She said, Julie Joe, I understand this isn't for everyone. I feel fine about my post on my page. If you don't continue scrolling, thank you. I said, what's not for everyone? Sharing statistics, acting like it's facts when it's not? That is never okay. You're lying to your 100,000 people acting like it's true. You have a lot of responsibility as a creator and someone looking, some people looking up to you. You are being irresponsible. Huh. Sounds like I kept it pretty polite. I mean, it is straightforward, but that doesn't mean I'm not being polite. Just because you don't like what I say doesn't mean that it's mean. Doesn't mean that it's not polite. Doesn't mean that it's disrespectful. I don't think that's a hard concept to grasp unless you don't want to grasp it and make me look like the bad guy. So I ended up blocking, but she put all the things in her stories. So all her little other angry people that follow her started coming in and commenting. So I've just been blocking all morning. Let's be clear. I put it in my stories to show examples, right? I am an educator. I teach you how to confront these things, right? If you see something, you're like, hey, where are your sources? Right. What, what does it look like to talk to someone like this? Right. Because a lot of people would be a bit nervous to talk to someone who has 100,000 followers, who, you know, is top of an MLM company. They would be a bit nervous to message in that comment section. And I'm not. So I'll do it. And I'm showing you how to do it. And then their response. It's pretty straightforward. You don't need to hate comment. Hate commenting to them, however, is not actually saying bad names to them, calling them mean things. It's simply apparently asking them questions like, hi, what are the sources for this? That's the issue. I do know there were a couple people in there that I've seen on my Instagram before that asked her about it more in depth. I have a hard time believing that, especially because I've made it apparent and I'm very open with the fact that you do not need to go comment on anyone else's stuff. I made that very apparent that I don't want that to happen. I have a hard time believing, Mindy, that you've been blocking all morning. Because I know people who follow me, people who watch my stuff, they don't go and hate comment. You're not the first person that I've shown examples about. That person didn't have to go and block all these hate commenters, you're using that to look like the victim. You're using that statement to look like a victim. Mindy, you're not. You are the one victimizing people. You are the one lying to people. You are not the victim in this. And I just, I just, I don't get it. If you don't like something, just go. There's no exit interview. And I'm not trying to change anyone's mind and I don't need you to either. And if you want to, do it on your page, but it's 2023. Do we not know how this works yet? That's all. I just, I just go if I don't like a band that I'm listening to. I just go if I don't like a party that I'm at. I don't just go when you are lying to consumers, hoping that they make you more money, even though what you're saying is a lie. No, I don't just go for that. Sorry, babe. That's not how this works. I'm not gonna quote unquote, just go if someone with a large platform is lying to people to make money off of them. No, 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 no. That's where I step in. That's where I step in and say something. I don't just go. It's not how that works. Whether it's publicly or privately, I have to say something. That's what I'm holding myself to. 
And here, I publicly simply asked in your comment section what the sources were, and come to find out, there aren't any that are true. I'll make sure to show you a source that she talked about, well, not her, someone else in the comment section talked about, which, by the way, makes zero sense. And then we're going to go over why her post is a lie. And then we're going to go over why her post is extremely deceptive. I have the facts to show it, too. This is how you do it correctly. Let's finish this, and then we'll go over that. That's all. I just... It's too people-y. It's too people-y for me. And there's also kind of this this thing that I've noticed, the bigger my account has gotten, the more it feels like the more followers you have, um, the more loose people are with their tongues <laughs> in a not good way. It's like, oh, she has 100,000 followers. That means that I can say whatever I want, however I want. Because I really wonder if people would say that to someone that had 100 followers or 1,000 followers, or if suddenly, like, and people will comment, like, it's not mine. They'll say, she, this, she, that. I'm like, hello, I'm she. I read all these. This is literally my account. <sighs> just just be a good human. I know if you're watching this that you are. Because if you're watching this, it means you're my, you're my kind of people. But be kind. Might I also add that being a good human is not lying to people? All right? And that you having more followers absolutely people should be speaking up to you more because you have more sway it's easier for you to deceive people and the whole thing about her having more followers meaning more people are loose with their tongues oh you mean more people are calling out your lies more people are saying hey don't say that you have more sway with people than someone with a hundred followers so absolutely someone's gonna comment to let you know that you're lying I feel like this is not hard to grasp, but apparently it is. So this like rando commented and said, if anybody is intentionally demanding for source as if you are an auditor, which you clearly aren't and you aren't even paid for it, it's like a play pretend on your part. Anyways, there is a thing called Google. The source can be found here. So they're like trying to back her up and then they got the source, which we'll go over. It includes all Google, Facebook, Spotify, Apple, and Netflix. All values on this Instagram is correct and factual. I did not get paid for it. Neither do you. What did we accomplish? So this person is obviously wrong because it's not correct and factual. But let me show you what they sent. I went to the uh, thing. And this is the this is a basic picture, right? Inc. Uh, then and now, how long it takes to get to get to a billion dollar valuation infographic. We're gonna go over that infographic. Take a look at how quickly and slowly different market, different companies have achieved the startup mile marker. There once was a, not, a time not too long ago when it took years, in some cases nearly a century for companies to get to 1 billion. Many of today's startups just can't relate. For example, YouTube hit the 1 billion valuation mark after only one year. In comparison, Prada founder Mario Prada passed away long before his fashion company reached the same financial milestone 98 years after he started the company in 1913. For a more depth and look at in depth look at the journey uh, that different companies like Nike, Twitter, and Harley Davidson took, check out the information graphic below. So I'm just gonna like scroll through. It just shows like 86 years for Harley Davidson versus three years for Twitter to hit a billion dollars. Right, very simple. It's this versus that for a billion dollars. The number that you see, 37, is how long it took them. Uh, keep going. There's no obviously no money or anything. It just says like Nike, PayPal. Uh, well, there's Starbucks, 24 years, Beats, YouTube, Whirlpool. That is it. <laughs> That's it. And they said, thinking of making a million dollars? Too late. That's old news. The next big thing is a trillion. Yeah, a trillion is what you want. So this obviously does not mean anything. Like, absolutely zero. However, I will show you what Monate made in 2022 versus each other company she had on that post. Let's get started, shall we? Monate in 2022, their revenue was $142.3 million. Well done, Monate. She also mentioned Netflix in that post, whose revenue was $31.6 billion in 2022. What about Spotify? Oh, their revenue is $12.356 billion in 2022. Apple, $387.5 billion in 2022. Uh, Google, $279.8 billion in 2022. All of these companies in one year has made well over like $200 million that Monate has made. 
okay? There's no comparison. There's no comparison. And you can't compare those companies when they started versus when Monet started. Monet started eight and a half years ago. All those company, I think most of those companies started well over a decade ago, before the 2000s for most of them. So what you're doing is you're using a false equivalency of basing it on their first few years to a billion dollars versus your first few years to a billion dollars. It's a completely different system. They're completely different in the way that it was done. So to be very honest and straight up, her graphic is deceptive. There's just no doubt about it. And this link or whatever, this uh, statistical data that they're acting like this is what got her there, this is not how that worked. <laughs> this literally has nothing to do with it. And by the way, this is just some rando in a comment. She didn't even cite this. While it has nothing to do with it, still. What? Also, uh, Emily Paulson, she is awesome. Emily Lynn Paulson, she's on Instagram. She wrote a book called Hey Hun, You Should Look at It. But she commented, she messaged me, DM me, and said, not to mention there's a big difference between profit and revenue. When you have almost a million consultants who are required to buy shampoo, then no, the numbers are going to be high. That says nothing about how the consultants or even the company are doing. Absolutely. The consultants are the company's best customers. And that says nothing, like Emily said, about how the consultants are doing, about if it's a good opportunity or not, like a good business opportunity. It's not based on their income disclosure statement, which is the best numbers they can give us. That's the absolute best they can do is $21 median a year for 93% of the company. I think that's sad. I don't know about you. I think that's, I mean, honestly, objectively, that's pretty freaking terrible considering that I don't even think there's a product that costs less than $20 on their site unless it's like, I don't know, a scrunchie or something. But anyway, that's my run in with Mindy Gale. And in my opinion, she doesn't care about lying to her 100,000 followers on Instagram. You can let me know your opinion below. Mindy, I hope that you stop lying. I hope that you take my comments that were kind and polite and take them to heart. I want you to take it and I want you to understand your responsibility in this. If you don't want to have responsibility with your posts, get off social media because each creator, each person who has some kind of influence over people has responsibility. I have responsibility with my words, my actions, so on and so forth. And let me be very, very clear. We will all make mistakes. We will all make mistakes. There's room for mistakes. There's room for apologizing. There's room for doing something wrong. There is room for that and to apologize, to move on, to learn, and be better next time. There's no room for lying to your big following and then playing the victim. If you lied and you apologized or even just took the post down, that's different. But if you lied, lied about what I said, how I acted, what I did, and then played the victim in it all, we have a problem and the problem's you, being a creator. You were irresponsible. Anyway, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. Give it a like. Subscribe if you'd like. Don't forget my Liquid IV affiliate link, which is not an MLM in any way, shape, or form, is below if you want to try a Liquid IV. I don't care. Try it or not. I hope you have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye. I don't care about what has been I only care about yours